Welcome to Staying Kingdom Minded Girls and today I'm so excited I have an amazing video for you. This is a collab video with my great friend Faith on how to faith a life and I have placed a link to her prayer journal video in my description box below so check her out next and tell her Amanda sent you. This amazing Bible is packed full of all things prayer journaling, so you are going to love it. Um, definitely not a translation that I specifically like to read, but for my creative outlet, I picked this up. It was very inexpensive. As you can see, $9 at a local store, kind of like an Odd Lots type store, but called Ollie's. Just showing you some of the specifics about this Bible on the back. It's got those extra wide margins and amazing things for prayer journaling. So if you're looking for prayer journaling examples or tips or ideas and some other fun Bible creativeness, go ahead and stay to the very end and don't forget to give this video a big like. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm just flipping through this Bible. I want to show you how amazing it is right from the very beginning. It gives you opportunities for coloring and drawing and prayer journaling. And I see so much potential with this Bible. I plan to do another recap and kind of like a flip through and show you some of the fun things that I ended up doing with some of this blank space. But for today, I just wanted to give you a prayer journaling tip and example. So this Bible is one that you can definitely use and add to your prayer journaling collection. If you like more of a DIY, I created a couple of other prayer journal videos and I threw them in a playlist and I'll throw it in the description box below as well as throw it in a card up above on the top of this video. So tell me that you love all of this blank space. I hope your creative juices are flowing. All of the amazing things that you could do with this space, it's truly endless. Okay, so some more examples of what's inside of this Bible that you can color and just be creative with. I love those extra wide margins. I've never had a Bible like this and I have wanted one for so long and I actually pray that God would allow me to be able to afford one because they can be kind of pricey. The scriptures along the sides were one of the major points of me wanting one of these and I just really took it to prayer and an amazing thing that God does, especially when we take our needs to him and wants to him whether they're big or small he can open doors for us and he does and so this bible is actually an answered prayer which i thought was kind of neat to include in this video as well all right so i'm breaking out some fine tip markers that i have and i usually use these for my schedule and my planner so i thought why not give these a try on this video so i'm going to show you some examples of what you can do and kind of some do's and don'ts that i learned while making this video that i decided to leave in because i think it's important that you know when choosing what kind of materials to use what to look for so let's take a look at what happen next Okay, so I showed you two examples. I completely filled in the J with the marker, and as you can see, I didn't like the amount of bleed through that I got from the J, and then the H, I just filled in and did more of an outline, and I'm perfectly okay with the way that the H turned out. A little bit of bleed through from these markers, because I love these markers, the quality of them, the vibrancy of the colors, so I decided to just stopped filling in completely and I broke out my handy dandy colored pencils which you can get for very cheap as you all know so I did a cute little color coordinating pattern of the burgundy or darker shade of pink and the very light shade pastel like baby blue shade so I really like the way that this turned out so I'll finish this up for you and then show you what else I did <music> Okay. 
okay so the creative in me decided to add a couple little flowers and some swirls and some things like that so just showing you the bleed through of the finished product there and that's actually not finished but it's as finished as I'm gonna do for this video so another way I like to use my Bible journaling time is to pick out a scripture that I really liked from the text that I read that day or that I journaled on and I have one of these felt boards with the letters and I absolutely love to use these as little pops and reminders throughout my day when I pass it I can glance over and I can look at the goodness of God the greatness of God and those sweet little reminders of how God spoke to me in my prayer journaling time because that's what's really cool about prayer journaling is yes we're using it as a creative outlet and it's fun and it's pretty but God uses those tiny little details and if you're listening he's actually speaking to you so let's see what i did with this board Okay, I'm so excited the way this is coming together. So it says, how sweet it is to be loved by you. So the word of God reminds us that not only does he love us, but his plans for us are good. You see, the word of God is God. John 1 and 1 says, the word of God was with God and it was God. So the awesome thing about prayer journaling is you're actually spending time with God. And I love that concept. So we can be creative and have fun and do frilly things like women like to do, but we're spending time with God. So I have a little helper here. So if you see my camera bumper shake, it's just because little Abel decided to join me while we finished up this video. So I got out some paper and those colored pencils and scissors and just cut some slips of paper. Wasn't exactly sure where I was heading with the end of this project, but I love the way that it turned out. Just those sweet little reminders are so important. Okay, girls, so for time's sake, I will wrap this up. I thought it would be sweet to add some pictures of promises and gifts that God has given me next to this amazing reminder that I am loved by him, me specifically, the kingdom creator, the God of the universe that loves me, knows my name, and his plans for me are good. Thank you so much for watching this prayer journaling tips, examples, and ideas video. I pray that it has inspired you, has given you some ideas of what to do in your prayer and Bible journaling time. Go ahead and check out Faith at How to Faith a Life. Tell her Amanda sent you and comment below how sweet it is if you made it to the end of this video. It's an amazing gift to be loved and known and called by God. Stay kingdom-minded in all you do, and I will see you in the next video.